What is up guys? Jake from OneHive here with our next short theory craft video um, and this one's going to be on dealing with a dragon in the CC. Since the update with a poison spell obviously everyone is catching on slowly but surely that uh, it is better to put high HP troops in your defensive CC because if you don't people are just going to bring that extra poison spell that they've got an extra slot for anyways. They're going to drop it on your witches, they're going to drop it on your wizards and it's going to be all for nothing because again they have to bring that extra slot it's already there. Uh, it's not like they're giving anything up for it. So as that happens, you're going to see more things like we showed in the how to deal with a uh, dragon, uh, lava hound in the CC video. And now this video, uh, you're going to see vouchers. You're going to see all sorts of things like that. Uh, but a dragon was the, by far and away the number one question I got after that video. Well, how do you deal with a dragon? And there's a few ways you can do it. If you know the dragon's in there, uh, you can just lure it out. You know, that's a pretty effective way. Once you do that, as I've shown you guys numerous times, uh, normal kill squad is very effective against the dragon, which is uh, the skeletons distract for it and the uh, queen and you know, maybe a wizard or two sit back and take out the dragon really quickly. But if you're wanting to do a no lure uh, dragon kill, which a lot of people are sort of hooked on this no lure um, attack style. They don't want to take the time to do it. They want to get right into the attack, which I understand it does save time. Uh, but if you are not taking the steps to prepare for that, then you could fail a lot on that thing. So really the, the, the key to dealing with a dragon in the clan castle on a no lure attack is the preparation. Prepping the area, I guess, is the best way to talk about it. You want to make sure that the there is nothing left for the queen especially to shoot at except for the dragon. By when the dragon arrives there. What I see so many times is people get their golems in, they go in there, they, they break down the wall too quickly, the golems get way out ahead, and by the time the dragon gets on there, maybe with a loon, you know, a dragon and a loon is a pretty deadly combination for, for golems. Uh, the loon's dropping bombs on the golems, the dragon's blowing its breath on that, maybe the king's up there taking some fire too, and the queen's sitting back working on storage. You know, and, and with the new AI, she's not going to attack that dragon and those balloons unless they are right there in front of her and she really doesn't have any other choice that or unless they're shooting at her directly uh, so make sure you don't rush your kill squad in if you know there's a dragon there or if you're preparing or planning for a dragon uh, really let the let the kill squad develop let the area get sort of cleared out and let the funnel be really well made before you start letting things move forward and get to get that lure Another thing that you might need to consider on that is the angle you take at a base. If you are going to do this, don't drop your golems to where immediately, like right here, if that dragon was already coming, it would be bad news. But these golems are just out of range, so Hib can sort of control when the, when the lure comes. Right here, letting all this develop. Now the lure comes. Now watch this how much... Not setting a wall breaker still. Look about how patient that is. Most people, all of the outside defensive or outside buildings outside that wall are already dead. They're already gone. But Hib has held on to his wall breakers until the dragon makes its way out because he doesn't want his queen and golems all up in that next compartment shooting at different things. He knows what's going to happen. So right here, you'll see as the dragon makes its way out, boom, it's just the natural next thing for the queen to shoot at. Uh, I would recommend putting a rage right there. Hib didn't do it, uh, but, you know, rage, he did, actually he did do it just a little bit late. I would have raged right on top of that kill squad and that queen, but you see how quickly that dragon and that loon went down. Uh, simply because there was nothing else for the queen to shoot at. That was her next target. So when it's come, when you're planning on this, when you're preparing for it, be patient with those wall breakers. You don't want everything coming out. You don't want to deal with everything at once. You want to deal with that dragon separately. So let an area get cleared out. Make sure the timing's right to where when that dragon sort of reaches your kill squad, uh, all that stuff around it is dead, and you are going to have a lot more success. Let's check out one more of these. Uh, that is a similar type thing, and then we'll just call the short video over. All right, here is the next one, and this is actually an attack you already saw in the recap video, but I thought it illustrated this pretty well. Um, Again, same sort of concepts. You know, if you know a dragon's in the CC or you're expecting a dragon in the CC, uh, pick your angle. You know, you don't want an angle to where it's going to come out immediately. You won't be ready for it. Uh, so don't do that. And also, again, be patient. Don't rush in with your wall breakers too quick. Don't break that barrier to where you know they're going to be lured. Look at the lure in your scout. Look at the radius. Know exactly on which defense the, the golems 
or whatever is going to be in there first is going to have to get to to know when the, when it's coming. So right here, you'll see he really let this outside get cleared out of the way, then sent the wall breakers in, but the queen was down early. She's already taken out that elixir storage. Boom, it's gone. Now, as that the dragons are semi-quick. As it gets out here, you'll see, boom, it's right in the face of the queen. She's going to take a few shots at that town hall, but then she quickly locks onto that dragon. It's down. Boom, gone. The rage was perfect. That's exactly what I would recommend is raging that kill squad uh, right when the dragon gets there because you've got to get it down pretty quickly. It does do a lot of damage. Uh, sometimes your witches or wizards will bunch up right there with your golem shooting at it and it'll take some of those out with the splash damage. Uh, but the, again, the moral of this video, the take home of the video is to really prepare the area and know when it's going to be coming. Don't just say, oh, when it comes, I'll drop the rage. You need to know exactly which building uh, when your golem gets to is going to pull that dragon out. And that's going to give you an idea of how much time you need to give it before you allow the golem to get to that point. I hope that makes sense, guys. Uh, again, it's, dragons are really not that difficult to take out in the CC. I know people do struggle with them, but that's probably because they've never thought about it in this way. Uh, just control the situation. If you've got control of it, then it's still a controlled CC kill. If it's just something that you're sending your troops in, you're not thinking about when it's going to come or which angle you're coming at, uh, then it's just sort of, you know, you're dropping a rage and hoping for the best. And a lot of times that won't work. Your queen will be stuck on a storage. She'll be stuck on a town hall. She'll be doing something else. And that golem or that uh, dragon might be just a few tiles away. But if she's got targets that are close and that dragon's not hitting her, she's not going to target it, guys. All right, hope it helped. Hope you liked it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive reminded you guys to suck less.